Hello, this is a very quick look at the Google Pixel XL. This is the original Pixel XL, which has gone end of life, so it should be available on some great deals. Still a good looking phone. On the left hand side, you've got the SIM card slot. Around the right hand side, you've got volume rockers and the power button. For those of you who enjoy using headphones, you'll be glad to know that this original Pixel XL features a headphone jack on the top, and there's a USB type C port on the bottom. The phone has a fingerprint scanner on the back and it's very responsive, didn't have any problems with this at all, it's very quick to unlock. If you don't want to use that, you can still use a pin or pattern lock, but overall the fingerprint scanner works really, really well. At the time of review, this was running Android 8.1 and it was running it really well. You scroll all the way to the left and you get the Google News Feed and the interface is kept nice and clean. This is obviously stock Android, there's no bloatware that you get with some other manufacturer phones. Really like the camera on this, it's got some really interesting modes including panorama, photosphere and lens blur. It's got a 12.3 rear facing camera, 8 megapixel front facing camera and these are just standard photos using the rear facing camera, no special modes. It's quick to react, good colours and I really like the camera on this, it's, it's got some great features, good low light shooting as well although you can see the background, it's a little bit fuzzier than you get in decent light so you're gonna to have to have a little play. I really like the defocusing option so here's a standard photo and here it is with the lens blur option you can see the background is more blurred and that just makes the photo a bit more punchy. I really like the photosphere mode that allows you to take a load of pictures it gives you a nice guided tour of what to do and then it stitches them all together and it gives you this VR 360 degree image of your photo so you can zoom in you can zoom out and it's a really good way of getting lots of images stitched together sometimes they are a little bit misaligned but overall I have found it to be an excellent feature you can also record in slow motion and the sound is slowed down as well Standard video recordings also very good and you can see here it's got some image stabilization taking place to give you a silky smooth playback so it's not too jerky but that does mean you get a slightly jumpy uh, bit of footage if you move around very quickly so it stays nice and stable but if you move it up, down, left, right very quickly that's where you get these little jumps. But overall I'm very impressed with the stabilization on this, I think it produces some really nice smooth footage. As with a lot of phones these days, the bottom speakers mean that your hands can easily cover it while playing games. But aside from that, games work really well on this. It's a nice large screen, 5.5 inch screen. Your hands don't get in the way of the controls. It looks great, sounds great. But if you are playing in landscape mode, you will have a tendency of covering up the speakers and you may want to use some headphones instead. Overall then, this is still a fantastic phone. It's coming down in price quite a lot. I'm sure you'll see further price drops as it goes end of life and the Pixel 3 comes out. The only thing to be aware of is it doesn't have any IP rating, so there's no dirt, dust, or water resistance with this particular phone, but it does still have the headphone jack and it still offers excellent performance for the price. I hope you found this short review useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.